Hello there everyone, wanted to do a quick video and share with you, I get asked a lot, how do you trim along a chain link fence? And one of the problems with the chain link fence is that with all of that chain going down into the ground, often grass grows right up in between the chain links. And when you go to trim it with a weed whacker, with the trimmer, what happens is that it's hard to get to first of all and second it will quickly just chop up all of your line and you'll be going you know, 10-15 feet before you break off all of your line. So I wanna show you a technique of how I do it, how I use, wanna show you a quick technique of what I do to cut along a chain link fence to make it look good and to not use up all of your line. The first and most important thing is to make sure that you have some good high quality line. Now Weed Whacker trimmer line comes in different sizes and the sizes are based on the diameter of the thickness of the plastic that you're trimming with the string. And when you're walking around a fence, I like to go with a thicker diameter, a thicker diameter string. What I use is .095. Here's the stuff I use right here. It's called Cyclone Commercial Grade. Uh, you know, trimmer line comes in .65 all the way. You can get all different sizes. And often when you're cutting tall grass, you actually want a thinner trimmer line so that that line is moving super fast and cuts through it. But in the case of working up against the fence, you want some thicker line so that it's not breaking off all the time when you go up against the fence. So here's a picture, I'll put a link in the description of the line that I use, the Cyclone commercial grade. .095 is one of the most important things. If you get a good quality line and you get a little bit thicker, at least .095 or thicker, you should have some good results. Okay, as you get started here, you'll notice that along this fence line, it is some really tall grass. So one of the first tips uh, that I wanna give you when you're cutting especially tall grass like this is you have to try to get the bulk of the grass down. And one of the ways to do that is to try to start kind of at the top. You'll notice as I'm going along here, occasionally I'll kind of lift the trimmer up and put it back down. And what I'm doing is just kind of cutting up those tall chunks of grass so that they're out of the way and you can see. And then the second phase as you're doing this kind of first pass here along the fence, if you tilt the trimmer just a little bit of an eye on an angle so that the tip of the line is going almost into the dirt, almost underneath that chain link fence, you'll have it, your line break off a lot less and it'll do a little bit better. In addition to tilting the trimmer on an angle so that the line is actually going into the dirt almost underneath the chain link fence as much as possible, is you actually wanna slow down your trimmer speed. Don't go in here full throttle because all that's going to happen is you're just going to cut off more line than you need to. You'll find the happy medium somewhere around a, a half to maybe even 40% of the throttle depending on the thickness. And then you just slowly work your way and what you're doing is you're feeling you just barely want to have that line touch the fence as you're walking along. So you just take your time, walk along nice and easy and kind of go up and down, back and forth. Now in this case, I have to kind of go back and forth because this, this grass is so tall that I'm really left with, with no other option other than to do it in kind of multiple passes. Once you get everything under control and if you don't let it get this far out of control, then it'd be real easy to kind of walk along this fence and keep it under control. Now once you get kind of a, the big bulk of it done, another key is to now go the opposite direction so that your trimmer line is spinning the other way. And you'll see how I'm doing that right here. And what you're doing is now you're, you're even slowing down that trimmer to even a slower speed. And then you're walking nice and easy. And what you're doing is you're getting up real tight to that fence. And you're getting all of that weeds and all that grass that's actually in between the chain link fence. And by going, having your trimmer head spin the opposite direction, and by going really slow, you'll lose a lot less line and you'll get everything cleaned up nice and neat. And so there's your quick tips on how to trim, weed whack, trim along a chain link fence. Number one, get some good thick line. Number two, slow down the idle. Number three, go in both directions and then go ahead and put your trimmer on a little bit of an angle as well. Hope that helps everyone out. Till next time, see ya!